How to create a budget for your spending style. Hi there, it's Luigi, and welcome to Catapult Capitalism, your guide in making smart financial moves for your future. If you enjoy watching our videos, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever we upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to share with you some tips on how to create the best budget strategies for your spending style. So if you're interested in this video, then keep on watching. A basic home budget may help you feel in charge of your finances, paving the way for financial empowerment. It's simply a budget for your monthly income and spending. There are several budgeting strategies to select from, and deciding on the perfect one can be difficult. The optimum budget for you will be determined by your spending patterns and personality. So, what is your spending style? Spending on small items on a regular basis. Every day, little costs might arise from a variety of sources. Perhaps you enjoy a warm cup of personalized coffee or a freshly baked croissant on your way to work. Perhaps you spend a few bucks every day renting a DVD from Redbox or another such service. It may be an afternoon pick-me-up Coke or a new book for your e-reader every few days. Some people may buy several in-app purchases for a game for themselves or their children, while others believe they must have lunch out every day. Shopping as a habit a weekend trip to the mall might get you out of the house if you love shopping, but you may wind up spending money on accidental items or things you don't really need. Impulse Buying When you buy anything on the spur of the moment, sometimes you don't bother to compare costs, wait for deals, or hunt for savings. You may also purchase products on sale that you do not require simply because they appear to be a good deal. Paying bills late If you are less conscientious about paying your bills on time, you may end up spending more on late fees and interest costs. The sums may appear minor in comparison to your entire debt, but paying more on a regular basis indicates that you are not spending properly. Not tracking spending If you're out of money by the end of the week and can't recall where it went, you could be overspending on things you don't actually need. Missing savings goals are you certain you're putting aside enough money? Are you aware of how much you save or how much you should save based on your age and income? If you can't comfortably answer these questions, it's time to reconsider your budget's spending against saving ratio. Now, do any of these spending styles resonate with you? Perhaps you're a combination of two or three different styles. Here's how to choose an approach that works for your spending style. Best budget if you like to be in control. Zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting is appropriate for people who like to know that every penny is counted. With this strategy, your monthly costs are always equal to your take-home money. When you subtract your expenses from your earnings, the difference is zero. A spreadsheet is an easy method to maintain a zero-based budget, especially because many will automatically tally your costs. The most crucial step is to assign a monetary value to each category, even if it's only an estimate. Then, subtract each item from your total until you reach zero. If your final figure is negative, you must cut expenditures elsewhere to make up the difference. If you have extra money, you can use it towards savings or other financial goals. Every dollar and cent has a purpose. As a result, it necessitates a thorough awareness of your monthly spending. Keeping track of your expenses is an excellent place to start. Zero-based budgeting sometimes takes more effort and attention than other budgeting approaches, but it may give a sense of control by showing you exactly where your money is going each month. Best budget if you want something hands-off. 50-30-20 budgeting 
Budgeting's fundamental purpose is to live within your means. The 50-30-20 rule is one approach. Your monthly take-home salary is broken down as follows. 50% essential spending. These are requirements that you must pay each month. Consider these the non-negotiables. This category includes all of the following bills. Utility payment for housing, minimum monthly debt payments, premiums for insurance, child care expenses, and groceries. 30% variable spending. This category is intended for discretionary expenditure that varies from month to month. This area of spending typically includes pleasures, splurges, and other items that allow you to enjoy your hard-earned money. This frequently includes items such as restaurants, shopping, subscription services, entertainment, and travel and gifts. 20% Financial Goals the 50-30-20 guideline makes room in your monthly budget for financial aspirations. They might include creating an emergency fund, debt repayment, saving for a down payment on a house, putting money aside for your vacation, investing, and increasing your children's college finances. Side note, for the debt repayment part, minimum monthly debt repayments are an essential expense, but paying beyond that would be a financial goal. If you want to expedite your financial objectives, you may reduce variable spending. Just be cautious. If a budget feels overly limited, you may not stick to it. The 50-30-20 budget may be a good choice for people who want to make sure their needs and savings are covered but aren't concerned about where their discretionary dollars go after that. Best budget if you prefer cash. Envelope budgeting. Cash spending may not be as common these days, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth exploring. Cash is used to pay for specific monthly costs in envelope budgeting. When the money runs out, it's gone. It could make sense for people who have a habit of overspending. Credit cards, according to one MIT study, stimulate reward networks in the brain, which may lead to more purchases. For this method, first, determine which payments you can readily pay with cash. While your mortgage and cell phone may be out of the question, consider the following expenses. Groceries and entertainment. Shopping and dining out. Once you've determined how much you can afford to spend each month, withdraw cash from an ATM and place it in labeled envelopes for each expenditure area. The idea is that if you can see your cash running out in real time, you'll be more responsible with your spending. There is also potential for adaptation. If you see that you're spending more in one area and less in another, you can transfer money between envelopes as needed. Just one thing to remember, if you use credit cards to collect points on a regular basis, save aside cash as you go and put it in an envelope for when your monthly payment is due. Best budget to prioritize what matters. Values-led budgeting. Values-led budgeting helps you to manage your money in a way that resonates with what matters to you. It all starts with defining your fundamental values, which may comprise a combination of the following. Giving to charity, family memories, health, and travel. Examine your important monthly spending to determine if they align with these principles. For example, if environmental sustainability is one of your key principles, it may influence your transportation budget. You may also utilize your retirement savings and entire investment portfolio to support causes and businesses that align with your beliefs. You should always make sure that your expenditures correspond to your priorities. When you know how much you spend each year, you may decide if you truly want to spend so much money on it or whether you have other places or areas you'd rather spend your money on. The correct budget helps you to manage your daily spending while saving for the financial objectives that are most important to you. Just remember to account for the non-monthly bills.
Insurance premiums and Christmas expenditures might creep up on you if you don't plan ahead of time. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon. Thank you so much for tuning in to Catapult Capitalism. And we'll see you later.